crafty friends. My name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we have color blend number 14 where I use the Simon Says Stamp Positively inks and we create trios of different colors to show you how these inks work. So I can't talk about ink blending without talking about my favorite paper. This is Simon Says Stamp 130 pound cardstock. Any smooth cardstock would work. There are some other ones on the market, such as Not Your Mama's Cardstock by Brutus Monroe. The hammer mill that everybody loves to foil with it also works great, as well as Bristol Smooth. This is just the paper that I like to use and I have found works best for what I do with ink blending. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is Spring, Dublin, and Lucky, a very Irish theme trio of greens. And they are some of the brighter greens that are offered in this line. They are super fun and they are great for blending on this trio. And with spring on the horizon, it's just now hitting where I live. And I know there are still a few people waiting for it to hit, but these colors felt like it was appropriate to call spring to us and push the winter side away and bring on the sun. If you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about the different techniques when ink blending, as well as talking about my favorite tools and tips for it. So we've already talked about paper. We're gonna also talk about the way that I hold my brushes. The trick, which I often have a hard time remembering, is to be sure not to go in heavy handed. You're gonna wanna go in light. You can always build color up, but you cannot take it away. And so as you can see, I'm doing my best to try to go in light handed and get this nice blend between these three. So this first blend is Spring, Dublin, and Lucky. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick cleanup and then move into the second trio. Another thing about blending, as you'll see, is I like to use the head of my brush and I like to use my fingers to grip it. I do not use the handles. I have snapped a brush before, especially I tend to put a lot of pressure on them. So we are going to showcase that here coming up on how I like to do that. I apologize. I got green on that panel somehow, so I had to do a quick switch. But as you can see, I like to pinch the head of the brush. It is the best way for me to ensure that I am not putting too much pressure on the handle as well as giving me the best control. So this is our trio number two. This is Lemonade, Spring, and Earl. This is a masculine, more so masculine color choice. So I thought this would be a great one to bring. It's getting a little challenging now that we are 14 videos in to ensure that I am doing trios that I haven't done before. And so I apologize if you feel like I have been maybe repeating a few of them. It's just been a little bit hard to, to broaden the scope when we are on video number 14 and three panels on each video is a trio. So I apologize. If you have any suggestions for color combos, I'd love to hear them below. So please leave me a comment and also let me know what your favorite color panel is. So I really love the way that Spring and Earl blend together on this panel. That's probably my most favorite part. While Lemonade and Spring are a great color choice together, they are, are very bright. I love the transition color between that Earl and Spring, and you'll see it more when we move into the final round where I'm showcasing them up front and they've dried back. So now we're gonna go into trio number three. We're gonna do Bubblegum, Seafoam, and Dublin. A very fun spring combo. These are some of the lighter colors in the line. Bubblegum being the lightest pink, Seafoam being a light teal, and then that Dublin being that lighter green. But we're gonna go ahead and go in really light. This panel, I did try my absolute best to go in very soft-handed. So these colors are gonna appear a little bit softer than most of my panels because I was really being mindful of it. It's hard to see when I speed up the video, but I promise I'm going in very, very lightly trying to just kiss that paper so softly to get a really subtle, soft color. I did not want to go in so heavy handed just to show you some differences in the saturation. 
Another tip for ensuring that you have good ink blending is to ensure that your ink pads are nice and juicy. This ink line does have reinkers, and I highly recommend purchasing the reinkers if you are a blending queen like myself. Self titled, of course, because this tends to use a lot more ink than just stamping. And I am finding that I am re-inking these way more than if I was just using them in a stamping-esque technique. Here is the panel. This is Bubblegum, Seafoam, and Dublin. Like I said, I went in really subtle with that Bubblegum and that Seafoam. A little heavier handed on that Dublin, but I love the colors that it gives. It's very much spring vibe as we continue to call spring to us. So now we're going to go ahead on the last panel, and I'm going to go very bold. We're going to do Lucky, Cadet, and Twilight. Twilight is a really interesting purple. It definitely leans towards the blue side, and you're going to see how much so when I put it next to Cadet, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Another tip you'll notice that I'm doing is I'm doing a tapping off method. Typically, I do tap off on a paper towel. That just gives me a more better visual of the amount of ink that I'm tapping off and how full the brush might be, especially after you've re-inked a pad. It can give you a really clear indication on if there is a lot of ink on those initial loading of your brush, like this cadet. I recently re-inked this and you can tell it's coming in a little bit more saturated than the others. But I did not have any paper towels down in my room and my microfiber cloth, when I tap off on that, I don't get a clear indicator that it is full of ink. And so I recommend tapping off on a whiter surface and I will be sure to have paper towels in the next one. But let's talk about Twilight here. Twilight definitely is a purple, but when I loaded it here, layered it, I mean, next to this cadet, it went blue and it could just be my lighting. And after they dry, it looks a little bit more different, but it pulled such a blue hue. I thought I was laying down Royal, which is the darkest color in the blue shades. But this is Lucky, Cadet, and Twilight. And I am gonna go ahead and dry these off camera and you'll see that that Twilight's gonna pop a little bit more purple in the end when we review everything. But we're just gonna do a quick clean. Like I said, I'm gonna dry them off camera. I prefer to dry them naturally, but in the sake of video time, I do need to dry them with a heat gun. I feel like adding heat to them sometimes zaps the color, but that could just be them drying back where when I'm letting them dry naturally, I'm not experiencing that quick dry transition. I do apologize for the video changing color. I um, had to go find my heat gun. <laughs> it wandered away into my husband's garage, but I had to go get that and I had to stop the video. So this is probably my favorite panel. I have not named an original trio my favorite, but I just love the way these three colors pair. And that is Spring, Dublin, and Lucky. This is Lemonade, Spring, and Earl. And I just, like I said, I love the transition between Spring and that lovely gray Earl. The Spring card, this is Bubblegum, Seafoam, and Dublin. Very, very soft, especially when we see it next to that Lucky Cadet and Twilight. And then the very fun Lucky Cadet and Twilight. And as you can see, that purple came out a lot more after it dried. Well, that's it for the video today. I appreciate you joining me on this color blend journey. I have all of the links below for the supplies used. And I just want to say, take care.